Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Today, let's go back to 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, where it says that he's granted to us his precious and very great promises, and, and he has given us wonderful promises about taking on the divine nature and, and a number of other things, but it really means that everything that God has promised, God is going to do. He said, so that through them, that is, these precious and very great promises, you may become partakers of the divine nature, and then listen to the next thing, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of lust or sinful desire. God, through giving us Christ, has helped us to escape the corruptions in the world because of sinful desire. Peter had to meet people called antinomians. They were people who were against law. They believed that you could be saved regardless of what you did because grace was big enough to cover everything. Therefore, sin all you want because it won't affect your salvation. In fact, the more you sin, the more grace you get. So sin in itself, as odd as it sounds, is supposed to be a good thing because it gives us the opportunity to experience more grace from God. What a horrible way of looking at life. People who believe that are really telling you, we love to sin. But if you're a child of God, you don't love to sin anymore. That sinful desire or desire for sin is not as strong. Now, as long as we're alive in the flesh, we're going to be tempted. There is a fascination to sin that will always be there as long as we're alive in our flesh. However, when we live in close proximity to Christ, when we're holding on to the hand of God, I see something better, more fascinating, more amazing, and it's the love of Christ and his presence in my life. When I keep close to Christ, sin loses much of its fascination. Don't let go of Christ today. Thanks for watching.